Good morning. Uh, it is the day of chemo number five. I'm woken up and I'm a bit tired. So I need to drink plenty of water. <laughs> and I'm going to have a shower, I think, to like wipe away the cobwebs. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting one today because it's my first one with my... Uh, new arrangement of less drugs um and yeah i'm just looking forward to the fact that I have, i'll have another one done um and one out of the way but uh yeah i haven't made myself any food to take with me i think i'm gonna order some food there today uh last time they had like a pasta with with uh, broccoli and um cauliflower and stuff so i may do that again well i didn't have it last time but i i may order it this time uh it's raining outside um i've never been to chemo uh when it's been raining outside it's been sunny every single time uh so that's going to be interesting too and yeah uh that's all i gotta say really i'm gonna have breakfast uh of uh, what am I going to have? I'm going to have some bran flakes, maybe, with raisins. But the first thing is a shower. Yes, well, yeah. Um, there's a couple of things I need to do today when I go there. Um, I need to make sure that uh, my uh, chemo is put into my um, right-hand side. Uh, because the pains that I'm getting in my left arm hand uh quite like significant because uh basically i've had my last three infusions put into the same hand um and there's no like science behind this but like there's i don't think it can be a coincidence um and also because like and i'm happy to like carry on doing that like it's not like the worst pain in the world but the i just had my covid my second covid vaccination and so my my left arm is dead um, like it's a, like really aching um, and heavy and so the last thing I want is to have like more issues with that arm um, so priority number one is going to be to say that uh, I'm also being prescribed some well as far as I'm aware um, that when I had my meeting last with my doctor I'm being prescribed some omeprazole for acid even though I didn't have it last time but I have struggled initially. I have struggled with uh, acid in the past uh, infusions uh, and something that's like a laxative. Um, I can't remember what the name of that is. Uh, to be able to like slowly keep my body working. Um, we don't want any uh, collapsed bowels going on again, do we? But yeah, uh, I just got to, got to make sure that those uh, are prescribed uh, and they're giving them to me. But yeah, that's to like... Uh, Quarter past ten. I've got to leave in an hour, and yeah, excited to get. So done. I'm just on my way to chemo. I'm actually, meeting my mother by the um, church uh, to give her keys to the house because she's gonna stay for a few days and clean and help us with camper van vintage. Uh, and Will isn't yet back from Stratford because he stayed an extra night because he couldn't uh, face the journey. Uh, even though his father paid for a train. But hey, you know, when there's just money coming out of every orifice, not. So I'm uh, just recording, just in case, you know, Mother Dearest comes round the corner at any point. <laughs> she didn't come round the corner, so now I'm walking back. <laughs> I'm wait. And I'll wait. I'm wait. I'm wait. Please. Run in. Run, Forrest. Run. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? I run out. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm uh, just sat in my chair, just taking my pre-meds, um, so anti-sickness and steroids. Um, yeah, and uh, 
Ready to start Kingdom Number Bay. And there's a fan blowing on my face, which is really good because it's boiling in here. Because the whole place is made of tin. Can't go wrong with one sausage. They're going a lot bigger though. Just the um, fluids to start. This is such a scary one, isn't it? <laughs> How is your pee? Is it so, is it, um... Do you know what? I... So, it's like 10 to Two. Um, I've had uh, all of my stuff now other than I'm well, currently having the Decarbazine um, which is an hour long drip uh, and I started about 15 minutes ago so I've got 45 minutes now of just waiting for that to finish dripping into my bloodstream and uh, yeah then I'll probably have a little flush and then I'm gonna leave. That's uh Chemo number five out of the way. I'm just on my way down to the pharmacy uh, in the hospital just because I've been prescribed the things that I've been trying to get prescribed for ages, which is um, a meprazole and some, uh, put it this way, uh, looseners, if you like. <laughs> yeah, so uh, fun times. Afternoon, evening, whichever one it is. Um, I am back from chemo number five, just chilling in the house, um, laying down on bed, watching couples come down with me, having a bit of a slump, and then hopefully, uh, like normal, like normal, my energy levels will come back up for the evening. Um, but yeah, chemo was absolutely fine. Uh, didn't feel it again. Uh, they prescribed me the things I wanted prescribed, uh, which is good. Um, and the uh, next appointments have been booked like normal, which is good. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's it really. Uh, my mother's made some food. Um, which I'll post a video of later. Uh, yeah, nothing exciting. So, uh, William Michael Watkins has decided to rejoin the cancer life after being in Stratford upon Avon. I tried to get away, but I couldn't. Yeah, um, and then this is a meal, and then that <laughs> is my mother who's been cleaning the house all day. Um, Ew. and she made the meal, and so what have you made us, Jane? I've made. Potato. No, no. What 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 have you made? That's not what have you made. I've made garlic <laughs> potatoes and garlic carrots roasted in the oven with there's a very garlicky theme, uh, cabbage, and medley of like a casserole veggie tomato -y thingy with aubergines in and onions and you've got pie. Wow. That should be the name of the restaurant. And you've got pie. <laughs> and you've got pie. There we are. Lovely, thank Good you very much. You. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Um, it is day, the day after my fifth chemo infusion and I'm feeling good this morning. Um, I forgot to do a video last night because I fell asleep. But uh, I was feeling good last night as well. I had less of a headache than I normally do on, on the day of chemo. Um, and I'm feeling less nauseous this time than I did last time. Um, so far. And yeah, just making a pot of coffee. Not for me. Uh, I've just opened our odd box because we get a uh, we get like fruit and veg delivered. It's our second box. We used to we did it for about a year and then we stopped. But now we're back on board with the odd box thing. Uh, I'll show you that all the veg we had in a second. Just just gets delivered to your door, and it's whichever ones are surplus uh, or wonky that week. But yeah, 
loads of meds now today, including steroids. That's going to be my power week. Um, uh, there's probably all of the sort of other stuff that I'm eating that's going to make me problem weight as well, like pizza. Like, if there's enough pizza now to last my lifetime, so I, my plan worked. Right. Bye. This is today's vegetable and fruit delivery. So it is um, like 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, uh, day one after chemo and I'm feeling reasonably good. Slight nausea, but no, no, like not as bad as it was last time. Um, I'm just cooking some uh, lunch. I'm utilizing some of the stuff that my mother made for us last night. Uh, but blitzing it up into a sauce and then making something with it, um, which will be tasty. And yeah, just carry on like normal. In here we have uh, Savoy, the last of a Savoy cabbage, and some uh, fennel. Just uh, getting a little bit of colour on it, you know, before I add some beans and stuff for it. I've made uh, savoy cabbage, fennel, and lentil butter bean thing with leftover uh, vegetable, which is now a sauce that we made from what my mother made last night. And salad. And what have you made us? It's chilli with your pre made salad, uh, garlic bread somewhere, and mm -hmm. some pasta. Lovely. Enjoy. Morning. It is day two post chemotherapy number five uh so far so good um just had we we're just woken up to a poo which is good um and yeah just gonna have a chilled normal day big day in the land of camper van vintage today uh but i can't say what it is yet because nothing hasn't been done so look out for tomorrow's one um just had a lactulose and uh, my anti sickness. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'll put some coffee on a pot for William because he's currently incapable and lying in bed. And uh, yeah, I was gonna go for a walk today with the Sainsbury shops coming at three, and we don't know when a delivery is getting picked up from the house so. Maybe the walk will have to be postponed until tomorrow. Oh, I'll just walk on the garden, but the pollen comes high. We've got big long grass. We shall see. Morning. Nice little cocktail today. So I'm uh, just on my day two light walk that I did um, last time, and it worked well. Uh, I didn't do too much because the uh, chemo takes it out to me, but the uh, the time before I'd, I'd, I did way too much. So this time, well last time, we did well, got the balance right. So I'm hoping that we're gonna get the balance right again, but I'm popping into Little East for coffee. Well, hey. hey. Some nice honeydew melon as a like late afternoon snack. Alongside a sausage roll. So in here we've got some um, peppers, onions, garlic, fennel. Uh, yeah, that's it in there. Um, that's going to be whisked up with some tomatoes. And then we're going to have something more delicious for that. Get some spicy look. There you go. That's the first bit. Moving on to the second bit. Wow. Bit. And what have you made us? Uh, you have uh, pan fried gnocchi with a spicy vegetable tomato sauce, uh, spinach, and uh, some bean salad. And I've got broccoli, and you haven't. And there's garlic bread. Good evening. It is uh, the evening of day two post chemo. 
and um, I'm feeling good, a bit sleepy. Um, today was a decent day though, lots, lots to get done, stressful, um, to do with Camper Van Vintage, and now I can say it, Camper Van Collective. Uh, which we've just opened new shop or on uh, Depop. It's just at Camper Van Collective. Um, and Camper Van Collective clothing on Instagram. Just for a little cheeky plug in case anyone's interested. Um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow's day three. Last day of the steroids. Um, hoping I'm, I'm going to have as good a run as I did last time on this one. Uh my beard is coming out more. And you can see at the moment the difference here. It seems to be staying in this section and down here. It's gone from this bit. Um which is really funny. Um but yeah. That's all I gotta say really. Have you got anything to say well? No. <laughs> there you go. Night <laughs>